Hi, welcome to Gallium Labs tutorials for Networker and vCenter. This demonstration is for backup and recovery of virtual machines using Networker and vCenter. This demonstration uses Networker 18.2, vCenter 6.7, and vProxy 3.0.1. Note, vProxy has already been installed on the vCenter. Start by adding your vCenter to your Networker. Go to the Production tab, select VMware View, and click Add vCenter. Enter the hostname, username, and password, then press OK. Wait for your vCenter to show up in the networker. Right-click the VMware view and install the HTML and Flash plugins. Now let's head over to the Devices tab. Click on VMware Proxies, then New VMware Proxy Wizard. Select your vCenter server. Find and select your vProxy VM within your vCenter, and make sure to put your password. Review and register. It will take some time to add your vProxy. Once added, head over to the Protection tab, then Groups, and then create a new group. Name the group and in group type, make sure to select VMware. Select your vCenter and choose which machines you want backed up. Head over to the Policies tab and create a new policy. Give it a name. Create a new workflow. Give it a name, select the group, then add an action. Choose your protections. Select your destination pool. Select your advanced options. Review, then configure. Now start your backup. Depending on the amount of virtual machines you back up, this may take a while. Now that it is backed up, we will shut down the VM, then delete it from our vCenter. Now back to the networker, head to the Recover tab, click Recover, New Recover, select the Virtual Machine Recovery. Specify which machine you want to recover. Choose which point time backup you want to restore from. Then choose a recovery method. Today, we will be using Virtual Machine Recovery. Specify the location for your recovered machine. Don't forget to select your vProxy. Give it a recovery name and run recovery. Depending on the size and quantity of your virtual machines, your recovery time may vary. Overall, it took an hour and 46 minutes to recover this machine. You can read and scroll through the recovery log, and you can export the log file. Thank you for watching. For more information, please contact us.